Hey guys, what's up, Vero here. So I actually found these notes randomly in my Google Drive because sometimes I just come up with like video ideas and notes for them and it was kind of outdated, but it said top 10 things I hate as a support hero. I had three things written down and I added to the rest of it. So we have 10 things that I hate as a support hero. Feel free to leave the things that you dislike in the comment section below as well. And maybe I'll also do one as a tank and a DPS. For reference, I am a tank support flex. For my team that I play on, I'm mostly tank, but when I play competitive, I flex between support and tank, and I sometimes DPS if I need to. So uh, let's get started. Number one, when someone presses the I need healing button and they don't actually need healing, like they're missing one health, like you're missing one health, like calm, like really? Like there's a tank over there that's missing like 200 health. You're missing one health and you're spamming that you need healing. Now that doesn't include people that accidentally hit I need healing because I do that sometimes. These are the people that hit it more than once and you know they did it on purpose because they're requesting healing when they could easily grab a small health pack or wait two freaking seconds for you to be able to heal them. Like, come on. But we all know poor precious Genji can't have any health missing. I need healing. Number two, when you're playing Mercy and people yell at you to res them when it's on cooldown. Or you just can't, because they're like died in a pit of everybody. Like, yes, let me run into the entire enemy team to res you. Well, no. I, I hated it. I, it's a lot worse now. Like, now it's not so bad because she does have a cooldown and it does have a cast time. But when it didn't have a cast time, Mercy res, 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 no res me, res me, I have ult. It's like, oh my god, you're stressing me out. It, it, uh, stop. Um, it was worse, I think, to when her ult was her res and people would ask for a res when like they're literally the only person down and you're just like, no? How about I don't? Number three, when people bitch about not getting healed and I'm dead. I had a game the other day where someone, like the Genji would, of course it's a Genji, the Genji would dive in and then die and then be like, WTF, where are my heals? I'm like, dead? Like, we're calling out that we need help on the back line. I can't help you when you're not killing the Widow and there's an enemy tracer on my booty. Like, I can only do so much. Um, typically, especially if I'm playing Mercy and I'm in ult uh, and I'm Valking at the time, I'll probably kill the Widow and then I feel a lot better. And then I'm like, don't worry, guys. I got it. You can't do it. I got it. Uh, I mean, there's certain healers that can protect themselves a lot better than others, but like, it's really up to the DPS as well as the tanks to make sure that your support's protected. Like, I'm, I need you to protect my butt so I can heal yours. Number four, when I am playing Ana and I call out my sleep targets and people wake them up. That drives me absolutely insane. I always feel bad when I wake a sleeping Ana's target, but like, you know, if there's an ulting you know, Winston, and I sleep him, and then you wake the angry monkey, like, that's on you. Like, I did my job, I slept him, you woke him up, he is still angry, why would you do that? Please stop. <laughs> like, I always try to make sure I call it my sleeps, and I try not to sleep stuff that, like, people are currently engaging, unless, like, you know, it's to just kind of stop them and then I can anti them and then my team can kill them. But a lot of the time, like, I'm sleeping people that are ulting or about to ult or an ulting Bastion. Ugh, I slept an ulting Bastion last week who was boosted by their Ana and I slept him and I was so proud of myself and then my team woke him up right away. I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go hide over here in the corner. Good luck, guys. Ugh. I will also add, if I sleep a target and you murder them afterwards, that's perfectly fine. I've heard Anna's complain about that, but that's the whole point of sleeping. You sleep them either to stop an ult or to get them murdered. And if you're murdering, if, if you're killing that target after I sleep them, perfect. I love you. Play with me more. But if I'm sleeping a target that's ulting and you wake them, <sighs> Why? Number five, when you're trying to heal someone that is low health and they keep running away from you. Oh, that drives me nuts. I'm, <laughs> speaking of Zed, um, that just drives me completely nuts. I'm like chasing a target or I'm scoping in as Ana to like heal them and then they like hide behind something or I'm, I like, I wanna give them one of my, my Zen balls. I'm like, I just wanna give you my balls. You know what I mean? <laughs> my healing ball and you are out of my line of sight and like I can't heal you. I've gotten into the habit of just like letting people know like I'm trying to heal you. Can we stop playing Ring Around the Rosy? Can you just like stand still for like two seconds? Thank you. I want to give you my healing juice. Why? Everything sounds so dirty. <laughs> Before I get demonetized. 
Number six, when your team never protects you. I had a game last night as Anna where myself and our Mercy kept calling out the Tracer in our back line, um, and no one really helped us ever. Um, I would try and sleep her as much as I could. I would try and anti her as much as I could. Mercy and I were like pocketing the crap out of each other to stay alive because our team would just go off into Narnia and do their own thing while we're like, hey, hey guys, hey, we Tracer on my butt. I don't like it. Can can it's like a it's like a fly just buzzing around me and it's driving me nuts. Can you please help me? Like my biggest thing is like help me help you. You protect me, I heal you. Like it's it's a very lovely thing. Like I mentioned earlier, sometimes as Mercy, like I just go in for the kill because sometimes you just gotta protect yourself if your team won't do it. Number seven, when I ult as either like a Mercy or a Zen or even as a Moira to get my team to push to the point and to like push the enemy team and to like take the point or take or whatever we're doing, keep, take it back, I don't know. Um, and they don't. It's like they're freaking allergic to the point and I don't understand why. Like just please don't make me waste my ult. <laughs> like I hate using a Zen ult to push the point, but sometimes you gotta. Or even a Lucio ult, any ult to push the point and like people just just don't. They're just allergic to it and they just can't. Like, why you do this to me? Number eight, when you call out your discords as zen and people focus every other target but the one you're discording. That's always frustrating. I had a game once actually where it was the exact opposite where every single target I discorded our reaper murdered and just annihilated. It was just like Farah discorded, Farah dead, Zarya discorded, Zarya dead, Reinhardt discorded, Reinhardt dead. I was just like, oh my god. Like, I try to discord targets that I can tell people are focusing, but if, like, two people are focusing this target, and one person's focusing this target, and someone else is on another target, it's just like, oh, where where do I throw my nuts? Like, where do I throw them? Because you guys are all over the freaking place. Like, it drives me nuts. <laughs> oh, life's of a, life of a zen player. <laughs> Because I definitely try to use my Discord targets as a way to kind of get my team to focus a specific target, especially if there's one that we're having trouble with. But sometimes people just want to do their own thing, unfortunately, even though it's a team game. But whatever. Number nine, when you speed boost as Lucio to push the choke and like run through and like take the point and are like, yeah, let's speed through them. We're like speed racer. We're just going to speed on through and take the point and it'll be great. And no one goes. Kind of goes with one that I mentioned earlier, but this one's specific speed boosty one because people even are like oh can you do zen so we can like push the choke and like speed boost and stuff and i'm like yeah sure i'll do some zen that'll be great and like nobody goes i'm always that one person that does go so it'll be like the me me and the zen on the point and then like everybody else is still the choke and it's just like what are you guys doing <laughs> come back and number 10, this kind of doesn't necessarily have to do with playing a support because people comment on it even when i'm tanking or dpsing but when someone comments on the fact that i'm a girl and I'm playing support, or I'm not playing support. Like, who cares? Like, it's such a dumb stereotype, and like, little girls play support, blah, 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 blah. Um, because, you know, only girls play healers always and forever. Um, maybe I'm playing a healer because I genuinely enjoy playing a healer. Maybe I'm playing a tank because I enjoy playing a tank. It doesn't have anything to do with me not wanting to be a mercy main or anything. Like, who actually cares? Like, honestly, stop, please, stop. Just stop. Stop. So that concludes my 10 things I hate about being a support player. I will definitely work on a tank and a DPS one if you guys want. Um, I don't play DPS as much, so if you have any DPS or even tanking ones that you want me to add to the list, be sure to do so in the comment section below. And you can also list your healing ones too. Um, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love healing as much as I do tanking and DPSing, but sometimes it can be extremely frustrating for the reasons that I mentioned. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my video if you haven't already, and thumbs up this video because I put out new videos every week. I said that in the wrong order, but whatever, we're just going to go with it. Uh, check out my previous video and over here, I think, a previous video and a playlist here, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!